Um, both the South Hills players on the show laugh at love. Valentine's Day just passed, and I imagine some of you have some feelings about that. Positive or negative feelings? Uh, probably some of both. I bet there are some lonely hearts out there and some really happy customers. What about some neutral Nellies? <laughs> neutral Nellies? I've never heard of them. Those mm -hmm. mm -hmm. people who are happy let Valentine's Day slide by unacknowledged, hence neutral. Got it. Well, it takes all kinds. On that note, we have... We have a word from our sponsor before we get to the comedy bowl. Yes. Thanks to our sponsor, Last Resort. When you've tried all the rest, come try the best. No, us. <laughs> last Resort is a dating service for those of you who have tried everything else and have one last gasp of romantic hope left. <laughs> last Resort will help you find your least objectionable mating options and present them in a timely fashion. Last Resort will hit your choice of mate over the head with a mallet and drag them to City Hall. <laughs> Hold on, that, that can't be right. Sorry, I got carried. <laughs> Let's get started with the comedy show, folks. Tonight, in honor of good old St. Valentine, we are talking about love, dating, and marriage, or lack thereof. We have skits, monologues, and more for your enjoyment. Oh, the greatest of all time. <laughs> Next, we have a uh, monologue from Ethan. <laughs> all right. Hello, everybody. So, I recently filled out a form that asked for my marital status. And since I'm not married, I had three choices. Single, divorced, or widowed. Automatically, I checked the divorce box, and then it hit me. I don't consider myself divorced. I mean, I am divorced, but that happened over 14 years ago. How long do I have to self-identify as divorced? Do I introduce myself as divorced? Hello, I'm April, I'm divorced Taurus with two kids and a cat. No, um, I don't even really talk about my ex unless someone brings it up specifically. Like, if someone wants advice about marriage, I have a lot of thoughts on what not to do. <laughs> yeah. um, but consider this, if you were in a car accident 14 years ago, do you lead with that when you meet people? Is that your status now? Car crash survivor and CEO! Probably not. I'm not necessarily equating divorce with a car accident. Divorces are much worse. <laughs> I mean, do you want to be defined by your worst quality or your biggest mistake? Hey, meet my friend Big Nose Bob and his sister Alcoholic Amy. <laughs> hey, would you like to meet my boss? His, his name is Gambled Away His Children's College Fund Gregory. <laughs> yeah, I'm divorced April, nice to meet you. I don't think that works. <laughs> but seriously, I feel like I survived my marriage and then I survived my divorce and in the end, this was a victory. Divorce sounds so negative. This should be a triumphant title like Her Most High Majesty of the Royal Divorced Order, first of her name and mother of children in therapy. <laughs> <laughs> but your marital status is, I feel, not really anyone else's business, is it? Unless you and I are planning to get married, do you need to know if I'm married or not? Do you care if your barista is single, married or divorced or widowed? Does this concern you about your accountant? or your doctor or your kid's preschool teacher? Probably not. And yet every form you fill out asks this question. Banking forms, health forms, employment forms, and of course, every dating site. Well now, that's maybe the only place where this really matters, right? If you're on a dating site, you should be single, married, or divorced. <laughs> uh, divorced, widowed, single. Married people, you are stuck with your fate. Deal with it. Please stay off the dating sites, married people. Thank you. But believe me, they don't stay off the dating sites. They don't. They don't. They don't. At this 
this point, I've been not married longer than I was married. So when do I get to be single again? How many years do I have to walk around with this scarlet letter attached to my name? Because that's what it feels like. Oh, she's divorced. Do you see the scarlet D on her forehead? Yeah. D for damaged goods. She's probably got tons of baggage, kids, and loads of debt. Stay away, Scarlet Letter D, divorce, run for the hills! I may be projecting here a little bit. <clears throat> I do seem to scare away most potential suitors. I like to blame it on my divorced status or the fact that I have kids and no money and a bad attitude, frankly. It's probably the divorce thing, right? Yeah, uh, we're going to say that's what it is. Sure. So I've decided to reclaim my single status and change the scarlet letter from a D for divorced to D for damn, she's awesome. <laughs> follow up with because I, like I said before, I'm 16. I have not experienced divorce. Um, and it always happens. <laughs> it could happen. Let's hope it doesn't. Um, <laughs>